struggling with this. Help me. And I will pay you to help me because I legit don't know, right? That's how you want to think. Hey girl, hey, welcome back to all my Digi girls. Welcome back, welcome back into my channel. I'm excited about today's lesson because I'm going to teach you how to create your first digital product as a beginner. And I'm gonna show you how to do it in five steps. Because the thing about it is, is that you've been sitting on the idea and you are really good at something. And that thing that you are really, really good at is a blessing to somebody else. And it is time for you to make a coin from what you're good at, what you're passionate about, your ideas, and how it's going to help somebody else's life, right? So this idea you've been sitting on, thinking about creating a digital product, or even if you haven't been thinking about creating a digital product, we're going to turn this idea into an actual digital product so that you can start making passive income. And it's easier than you think. I promise you. I know creating something from scratch may sound like it's overwhelming, you know, and sometimes when we start to get into looking at the big picture, instead of just actual getting in momentum and taking and doing the actual steps one at a time, step by step, it does seem overwhelming, but I promise you it's not. So I'm going to break down exactly how to create your first digital product step by step so you can stop overthinking and start making some money. Okay. So first things first, what is a digital product? Okay. A digital product is anything you create one time and sell over and over and over again. An ebook, a checklist, a guide, a course, a template, a planner, things like that. Those are digital products. Okay. And it's really all about solving a small problem for someone else. That's what it is. And again, a digital product is anything that's not tangible. You just download it digitally and voila, you can apply it to be of usage to your life somewhere. So for example, let's talk about a checklist, right? You can use a checklist. So let's say that, um, you know what, here's a good idea. My sister travels abroad, right? And you know, she was, you know, of course born here in the US, but she's done a lot of traveling abroad and also living abroad outside of the US. And there's a lot of people who need actual template for what they are going to need to prepare themselves to live abroad, especially when they're outside of their country and they've never done that before. So she prepared a actual checklist to help people get ready to have all the things that they need, okay? So that was an actually good idea. Why? Because she is solving a problem and somebody is willing to pay for that. Or you could create a checklist for movers a checklist of things that they're going to need to make sure that they have intact and that they're so that they're already positioned for a seamless and, and smooth move. You see how that's solving a problem? You'll be surprised how many people will pay for things like this because people, are, number one, want to pay for things that's going to save them time. Right? So you can do a checklist for something like that's an example. Now, when will we do a template we will do a template like say for example if you are good at a content a content creation and you've leveled up your content creation game you can start creating different instagram post templates for other people that's struggling to create content right so that would be a template a guide a quick guide to meal prepping or to recipes you know things like that that would be an actual guide and then an ebook is a little bit more extinguished than a guide it's just more thorough than a guide but it's still step-by-step -step information that's going to help somebody else get from point a to point z so whatever it is that you are naturally good at you do not have to even be an expert in this you just need to know one thing that can make somebody else's life easier right so that was number one the first thing was what is the actual digital product and number two we're going to take this thing, the step-by-step -step process to creating your digital product. So first thing, you want to pick one simple idea. So again, you're going to think about something that you are really, really good at. Okay. Something that you have figured out recently. 
What is a solution that you can share? What is something that you have personally overcome? What is something that you have learned or that you're really good at, right? So if you are the type of person that you're really, really good at budgeting, if you know how to save you a dollar or two, you can have, you can create a house who save $100 in 30 days checkings and put all the points down, right? So that's what you're going to do. That's your idea right there. That's your idea. Then number two, you got to design your product. So you're going to use Canva. You're going to go on www.canva.com and in the search bar, you're going to search templates or checklists or ebook or guide. But let's just use templates. You're going to search for that on Canva because they have pre-made templates and ebooks and guides and checklists already there, right? They're already pre-made. So you're just going to pick one and you're going to customize it to fit your idea. And when I mean customize it, you can change the colors, you can change the font, you can change the pictures, all of those things. So if you're creating a weekly planner, you're going to like add a title. You can add labels and things on it for each day, you know, add some color to it, make it, you know, look cute, right? And boom, you've got a product. That's the digital product. Now you're going to save it. You're going to export it or save it as a PDF. And once it's saved as a PDF, that is your digital product. It is easy for people to download it. And it's either going to download straight to their phone, to their tablet, or to their computer, okay? So just like that, you got your digital product. Number three, now you got to price your product. So you want to start with this mindset when it comes down to a price. See, your, your price isn't just about the product. Because people are not paying for a piece of paper. People are not paying for a PDF. It's about the result that it delivers. So people are paying for a solution to a problem. Always keep that in mind. It's not about the piece of paper. It's not about, you know, what's on the screen, right? So for example, um, like a one-page product, if it's like a one-page checklist, that could be like 5 to $10. It will add up. You want more, if you want to do more detailed things like guides and planners, you want to go and start charging from like 15 to 47 dollars right it's still a low ticket offer but remember it's all about the problem that is happening to somebody with and then you offer them a solution so if your budgeting checklist saves someone a hundred dollars that's 10 20 dollars is a steal for them and that's profit for you so that's how you want to think okay number four is now you've got to promote your product so you're going to share it on social media you're going to use instagram or TikTok or Facebook, okay? There's a lot of social media platforms out there, right? That you can share and talk about your product, right? Showing how your product works, showing how your product helps other people. People love seeing it in action, right? So you're gonna show how your weekly planner keeps your day on track or how your meal prep, you know, helps people meal prep you know, their meals and even lose weight. You're going to show that when you are posting about your product, you're not just throwing it up there and saying like, hey, guys, launch new product because you haven't conveyed to your audience why they need it and how it's going to help them. So, you know, of course, you want to make sure that you are relaying that in your actual messaging on the platforms that you that you post on to talk about your product. But as long as you can show somebody, show somebody how it's going to save them money, how it's going to save them time, how it's going to save them industry, how they're going to have to can do something quicker or faster. As long as you can show that, you will see the results start to come in. Another thing that is a really good idea for you to do is have a teaser. A teaser is called a lead magnet or a freebie. So a freebie is just a small introdu uh, introduction to what your digital product is all about. So you're not giving them the whole five course meal, you're just giving them a little appetizer. So this appetizer is a preview of what they would get next. Now, you do need to make sure that your appetizer is still good. Right? So there's kind of like a thing that's going around where people sometimes feel like where well, they don't want to download free products because they feel like it was trash and they feel like it didn't deliver no value, right? So you want to make sure that your freebie, your lead magnet is still valuable, but it has a balance because it's just enough 
to leave somebody on the edge of their seat for like, okay, what's next? I need to know more. Okay, I need to do that. Now I need to get the real thing because this was good. And if I if it was this much value in here, now I need to take the next step, right? So it's just giving them that little preview, that little appetizer version of the real thing that you want to give them. So you do want to highly consider offering a lead magnet or a free, freebie to your um for your audience. And then you are going to upload your freebie and your actual digital product to platforms like Etsy. Gumroad. Gumroad is free. Beacons is free, right? Some of the paid uh, platforms are like Shopify and Stand Store, but you can totally do like Etsy, Gumroad, and Beacons for free, okay? So upload your digital product on and drive the traffic to those um, platforms so that people can see what it is they have to offer. And this is super beginner friendly, right? So the thing about it is, if you don't know what to create, you're going to look at what you're already naturally good at and take it from there. And don't overthink this. Don't overthink it, right? There's people all the time that's coming to you for advice, right? That somebody else is not good at. And don't overlook it because sometimes things can be so natural to you. It can be so second nature to you. It's just like, well, oh, I mean, duh. You can think of it like that when somebody else is like, no, I need to know. I'm struggling with this. Help me. And I will pay you to help me because I legit don't know. Right. That's how you want to think. So get into a digital product, get them ideas into a digital product, get your passions onto the digital product. You know, this is how you start making impact because anytime you are helping somebody else, that's serving, that's being impactful. Right. And then a lot of the times your abundance and your blessings is going to tunnel and flow through that. Then your dollars, okay? You start, you know, making income, right? But the impact first and then the income. All right. So hope this guys was hope this was helpful. I'll see you guys in the next video.